Hey guys, I wanted to make a toddler gift guide. So what I've been doing is just watching um, what my toddler has really been gravitating towards over like, you know, everything else that she has. And I grabbed about 10 items and I'm gonna share them with you guys. My little girl is going to be uh, two and a half right after Christmas. So that can help you to kind of gauge and I'll try to tell you guys um, if she's been playing with these things for a while or if it's something new that she um, just recently is getting into. So actually, my first thing is not a tangible item. My first thing is gifting experiences. We love going to places like the insectarium, the aquarium, um, different like Christmas events or train rides. Um, Sea World amusement parks, anything like that. Maybe tickets to like a live show. Um, for example, we're gonna go see Disney on Ice, and that would be an amazing gift to give a toddler in your family. Um, experiences are a hundred percent amazing, and I think that that's a lovely gift to give someone. The first thing I have is this Corel baby doll. Not like the dishes because I seriously always misspell it. I'll link it down below so uh, you can find it without misspelling it. We found this one on Amazon and my little girl actually received this for Christmas last year and she played with it a lot then but now she's really into um, like caring for her doll. So she's not just kind of playing with her but she's taking her places. She's fixing her boo-boos, she's feeding her, she's wiping her face, um, she's putting her to bed, loads of things like that. It's super cute. Um, I actually think that we're going to buy a few um, accessories for this doll for Christmas. So this doll comes in quite a few different skin tones, at least the last time I checked she did. And there's also a male version. So I think this gift is great for boys and girls. We've had her for a little over a year now, and she is doing quite well. I think this is a really nice doll. Next is this. Um, this is just a off-brand version of like a Magna Doodle. I found this one on Amazon, and I actually picked it because, if you can see, it has the four different colors right here, and I thought it would be a little bit more fun than just your traditional um, black Magna Tab. So, my toddler uses this thing all the time. We draw pictures for her, she draws pictures. We take this in the car, we take this to Mama's house. Um, it's just really handy, very affordable. They come in loads of different sizes, colors, brands. A lot of um, people do these. So these are pretty simple to find, but I'll link um, a couple nice choices on Amazon. Next are a few books. Um, I think all books are a great buy, but specifically these like books that have some type of texture or some type of cutout, something to keep your toddler busy. I see my little girl gravitating towards these types of books more than her regular books with just a smooth surface page. So I have these two here from Us Born Books. These are really cute. Um, this is not my mermaid, and every page has a little bit of different texture. These come in a few different titles, so like not my mermaid, not my dinosaur, and I know for sure they're available in Spanish and English. I'm not sure about any other languages. And then this is also an Usborn, and this is one of their sound books. So again, it makes sounds when you press the little tabs. Uh, it does also have an on and off switch on the back which is really nice and again it has a bunch of little like cutouts and indentions so it just keeps my little girl so much more engaged in um, the storybook. Also grab this one here which is not an S form book. We bought this at a local baby store and if she has them available online I'll um, link these down below. And these just have the little slides Again, it just keeps your toddler nice and engaged um, while you're trying to read her the story, him or her the story. Next, I have um, two examples of play food. 
Play food is a huge hit around here. My little girl loves playing with her kitchen. A toy kitchen is also another good option for a gift. But I think even if you don't have the toy kitchen or um, if you need extra accessories for a kitchen, toy food is so much fun because she'll also play with this away from her kitchen as well. Uh, this is just a cute little toaster. A few different brands make these. It comes with a few other toaster accessories. And then this is like a bag of, I guess, frozen waffles. And it's really cute. It has like the nutrition facts on the, on the back. It has Velcro and then you can keep the food inside. There are a couple of different versions of these and they come in a pack of four or five. Um, so like this one came with a bag of blueberries, some chicken fingers. I'm not really sure what else, but it comes with a little bit of a variety. Um, and yeah, they're just really nice and cute. Next, I have this guy. This is called Fubbles, and this is just uh, bubbles. You buy your own bubbles and you add them. This piece unscrews here. I'm not gonna unscrew it because it's a little dirty. We keep this outside and they do have bubbles in here, so I don't wanna make a mess. But it's just some no-spill bubbles. It has the wands up top. And it's a fun way to play with bubbles, let your toddler be a little more independent and not make such a big mess. So this thing is amazing. We found ours at Bed Bath & Beyond, um, but I'm sure you can find it at loads of places. Next are dress up accessories or dress up clothing. Uh, my little girl loves using wands. We have a few different sets of wings, some little head pieces a chef's hat and apron and she just absolutely loves getting into character when she's playing and I think it's amazing it really just uh, lets her have her imagination come out and grow and I absolutely love it we're going to add a few new dress up pieces to her wardrobe for Christmas this year I'm thinking that we're going to get some cowgirl stuff and probably some firefighter stuff those are two new um things that she's been really interested in lately. Next, I have this soccer ball. This is a size three soccer ball, and my little girl just loves kicking a ball around. So honestly, any ball that's uh, like size appropriate, I think for a toddler, this one's nice because it's not as big as some of the other play balls that I've found. So it just gives her a lot more control. So she's able to really engage with this ball. Again, this is a size three, so this will be good for her for a few years, and it's an Adidas soccer ball. As long as you take care of it, it'll last quite some time. Next, I have this Melissa and Doug kind of travel or compact train set. So you can see the tracks are here. It unfolds, and you can either put it like on your coffee table, on the floor, on the kitchen table, anything like that. And in the inside, I think it's right now. And the inside are just all the pieces. So we have the Take Along Railroad is what ours is called. Um, there's a couple of trains, I think like a tunnel, some bridge pieces, a couple of animals. It's really cute if you want to buy a train set without having to have too much space uh, or have to, it take up so much space. Train tables can take up a lot of space. Um, so this is just a nice, compact way to have a little train set. They do do a couple of other versions. Um, this is just the one that we picked. This is a Billabo. This is pretty much an open-ended toy. We use this thing indoors and outdoors. Um, I'm pretty sure we're going to add a couple more to our collection because they are really nice to use outside for like little stepping stones or jumping stones for her to climb on. Uh, we use this to sit and spin. This has been a doll bed. Um, sometimes she rolls her cars underneath it. She will scoot this up to the coffee table and use it as a chair. It's very open-ended. You can do a lot with it. And toddlers can be so creative, their imagination is amazing, so they can find loads of uses for this, even though when you look at it, you're kind of unsure about it. I think this is a great buy. I found it on Amazon. 
and it comes in a bunch of different colors as well. And last is this cow. This is one of those like bouncy cows. We also have a bouncy ball with the handle. She plays with, I'd probably say both of them just as much. But lately she's been enjoying the cow because, again, I said she's interested in cowgirls. So she'll uh, hold on up here and just bounce around the house or also bounce around outside. This is good for inside or outside as well. And she yells that she's a cowgirl. We bought this, so it's from the brand Farm Hoppers. We bought this a while ago. Um, like before it was age appropriate and she's always kind of played around with it but just recently she's really gotten into it. Um, I think we bought this at like Bass Pro Shop. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to find this exact one but a few different brands I've seen does something similar. I'm sure I can find something to link down below on Amazon but these are just really fun and it's nice um, that it's different than just the regular ball as well. So that's everything that I have for my toddler gift guide. Hopefully something caught your eye. I will link as much as I can down below. I probably won't be able to find like those little wings that I showed you, but there are a ton of dress up clothes. I'll link maybe a few other pieces that I can find on Amazon. If you guys have any of these items and the toddler in your life enjoys it, let me know down below. And if you plan to pick up one of these things, also let me know. Again, my little girl is going to be two and a half right after Christmas, so if you have any other recommendations, I'm totally open to hearing them, so you can also leave that down below, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Bye, guys.